Timing stand. Timing stand. Go ahead, South End. The engine started. Give us the clearance. Okay, South End. Stand by. It's 8.16 Thursday morning. Craig has not slept well. He says he dreamed of being killed. South End, did you get a reading? Yeah, I got it. The canopy is on. Track is clear. Okay, roll them when you're ready. Timers is that Spirit has turned 513.33 in the mile and 519.49 in the kilometer. By increasing his power setting for the return run, Craig knows that he is within reach of an over 500 mile an hour record. What he doesn't know is that this is going to be the wildest ride of his life. reunion 
await the crew. If Charlie misses time on that, boy, he's out of business. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. <laughs> what a ride. Well, for my next trick. <laughs> you didn't make it. I'll set myself on fire. Frank, here's your dad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The brakes just burned up. Did the brakes in? I, I put my shoot out after I cleared the mile. Well, the first shoot I planted, I didn't, you know, it just, it just break the shreds. It felt good to a ribbon, and then I hit, hit, I waited for a while. I tried to hit the brakes, and the brakes just wouldn't go. I just, I pumped the brakes all the way down. No brakes at all? Nothing, no brakes at all. And then, then I hit my other shoot, and nothing happened. Yeah, they did. And then, and I didn't have any... I just no took steering. that steering, I turned it clear around like this, and it finally started brain coming around. You know where the fin was off of Yeah, it? I know, I hit the pole. With, with your right fin or what? I just saw that pole coming, and I just went just like that in the seat, and I hit the pole, and I hit, I got, I thought I had it when I hit the pole. I saw that telephone pole coming, and I said, oh, and I went like that, and gritted my teeth. Gritted <laughs> 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 my teeth, and that pole just sheared off like nothing, you know, boom, and no pole. And I thought, oh, boy, another chance. I looked at it. <laughs> I hit the water, and that water started slowing me down. I seen this big old bag coming. I thought, oh, no. <laughs> I hit the bag, and it just went right over the top there. And I was flying through there about 30 feet in the air. And I thought, now I'm going to drown. And I was <laughs> Catching the canopy off and trying to get my belt on, I couldn't get my mask off, and the water was filling up like that. And I said, like, what a way to go. Here. All this and I'm going to drown. <laughs> Next run, scuba here, baby. <laughs> Hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> I broke my razor. Everything's <laughs> okay. What else is that going down? <laughs> Did we break the record, God darn? What was the time? What was the time? <laughs> it was fast enough. His record, 526.28 miles per hour. Craig Breedlove is the first man to officially drive over 500 miles an hour on wheels. As also, he was the first man to set a Bonneville record of over 400 miles an hour. His second and almost disastrous run today became a 539.89 runaway, from which he incredibly escaped unharmed. With this sobering thought in mind, Craig and his crew returned to the course at a very safe 10 miles an hour. What's next for Craig Breedlove? Now that the 500 mile barrier has been passed, is the sound barrier too far away? Perhaps Craig will return to Bonneville to meet the challenge. <laughs>